Design Ninja here. Today, we're gonna learn how to make this ninja sword. Oh yeah. So here we are in Adobe Illustrator. Grab the line tool and make sure over here in the fill area, you have just the stroke selected and draw yourself a line, however long you want your sword to be. And then over here in this stroke palette, let's select a thicker stroke like so. Uh, bump that up even more. Yeah, there we go. And with the line tool still selected, I'm going to make a couple of other lines. Now, um, by default, it's a black stroke. So let's go over here and change that to white and bump the size down to maybe five points or so. That looks about right, okay. Now, holding the Option key and clicking, I'm gonna copy this shape and holding Shift so it, it constrains it to moving. Let's determine how long we want the handle and let go. And let's do it one more time to about there. And again, one more time, somewhere in there. Now for this one, I'm going to change the stroke color to be black. And let's zoom in here, and I just want to point out that you may have a little bit sticking out there, and if you don't want that, then just make sure that these things are lined up like so, okay? So, let's draw our little white square thing. So grab the rectangle tool. Holding shift, you can drag this shape out, and by default, again, it makes it to match the most recently selected object. So let's switch the stroke and fill. Uh, we don't want black, we want white. And let's grab this shape, drag it down into the handle. Now, um, if you hover over the corner, you'll get this little arrow. Click and drag over to rotate and hold the shift to constrain it to 45 degrees. Once you've done that, hold the option for that double arrow click and drag holding shift to keep it uh, all straight there okay I'm gonna select both of them but uh, what I'm gonna do is shift click to deselect that line in the background and we have enough room for maybe three more or so all right now if you want everything to be lined up perfectly just select everything that you have created so far and up here you have these different um, align tools. And what you want to do is click on the vertical align center. All right, so now everything is lined up. And deselect everything and then click and drag to select all of your white circles. Let's shift click to deselect that stroke right there. And now if you move over, you'll see this horizontal distribute center. You want to click that. And what that does is it makes sure that all of these white squares are perfectly spaced apart. Now, what I like to do is create a copy of everything up to this point, just in case I want to go back and make some fine tune adjustments, because the next thing that we're going to do is go to Object and Expand. And what that's going to do is to create actual shapes out of all the strokes that we have created. Okay, see it created uh, a rectangle out of our sword shape, for example, instead of just the line. So we can no longer, the thickness here is no longer controlled by the stroke palette. Okay, now, if we were to take this existing shape and place it on a colored background, for example. Let's put this in the background. We would notice that our white shapes are showing up, and that's not what we want. We want this shape to show up on any colored background with uh, just the black color. So here's what we're going to do. Let's lock this shape and let's select all of our white shapes. So I'm going to deselect these black shapes that got selected. And over here in the Pathfinder tool, or palette, sorry, I'm going to click on Unite going to make one shape out of everything that is white. Next, I'm going to click and drag to select everything and then shift click to deselect the white shape I just created. So now I have everything selected that is black. I will do the same thing. Unite. Okay, now next, I'm going to select everything and the very next option over is minus front. It's going to make one shape out of both the black and white shapes. Boom, okay, now we're almost done. All right, this is kind of a blunt sword. 
which we don't want. We need a nice sharp point. So let's select the direct selection tool and click and drag over just that top corner. And I'm going to shift, click, drag that out, however sharp I want that point. Okay. And we are almost done. We just need to add this little curve, which is quite easy. Select your sword, go to effect, and come down to warp. And you want to go to the arc option. Okay, this is going to be by default probably set to 50% or so. And if you click on the preview to see what it looks like, that's definitely not what you want. Let's take this down to about a negative 4. I find that to be about what I like. Make sure this preview is selected so you can see what's going on. Click OK. And basically this is a live effect that we can change later. If we decide this curve is too big or too small, uh, we can always go to our appearance palette. Okay. And here we have this live effect. We can click on the warp arc and make sure the preview is selected. And we can make adjustments to make this exactly how we want. Now I want the negative 4 because that's just how I want it so I'm going to press cancel. And let's say that you don't want the live effect any longer. Well if I option click and drag make another copy I'm going to do the same thing where I go to object expand appearance. Now there are no live effects and you are done with a nice curved samurai sword. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful in any way, do the Design Ninja a favor. Click like or subscribe below.